It was the first day of school for most middle and high schoolers in the Rochester District. And at schools like John Marshall High School, staff and administration wanted to make sure students started the year off right. KIMT News 3's Max Haslow stopped by the high school this morning to check out the first day festivities. He joins us live from John Marshall now. Max. Yeah, just uh, class ended uh, here just a little while ago. You still got some students straggling by looking for the bus or just uh, staying behind for some after school activities. But believe me, this morning it was packed here. Everybody was here bright and early just to reunite with some uh, friends, some teachers, and everybody was definitely ready for a fresh start this school year. Now, students were greeted bright and early with the pep band uh, playing some nice fight songs for them. And also, the school day started off with the marching band uh, going down the hallways, and that was followed closely by a pep rally. Now, these activities are part of the school district's emphasis on bringing back the joy of learning, as they say. And I spoke with some of the students about what they're looking forward to most this school year. I'm excited for a lot of the clubs that I'm hoping to join, um, like theater and gardening and a bunch of other stuff. I'm really looking forward to our cross-country year, especially because our sports team is so close together. Yeah, I'm in football and basketball, so I'm excited to see this season go out, you know, how it plans out. Now, I also spoke with Superintendent Dr. Kent Bickell, who was here earlier today, and he tells me that the U.S. Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona, will be here next Friday to visit the school. Live in Rochester, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Max. For elementary schools in the Rochester public school system, the new year starts tomorrow morning at 925.